For today's video, we are going to talk about how to solve problems involving rational equations and we are going to explain everything in details. On the first example, the denominator of a fraction is 2 more than the numerator. If one is subtracted from both numerator and denominator, the resulting fraction has a value of 1 half. Find the original fraction. To determine the original fraction, let us represent x as our numerator. Since the denominator of a fraction is 2 more than the numerator, let us have x plus 2 as our denominator. And to write the fraction, we are going to have x over x plus 2. If 1 is subtracted from both numerator and denominator, the resulting fraction has a value of 1 half. So let us subtract 1 on the numerator and the denominator. Let us have x minus 1 all over x plus 2 minus 1 equals 1 half. Let us simplify. Let us rewrite x minus 1 all over x 2 minus 1 that is 1 equals 1 half. Let us cross multiply. Let us have 2 multiplied by x minus 1 equals 1 times x plus 1. 2 multiplied by x is 2x. 2 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 2. And then 1 multiplied by x is x. 1 times 1 that is 1. So let us move negative 2 on the side of x plus 1. And let us move x on the side of 2x minus 2. It will give us 2x minus x equals 1 plus 2. 2x minus x, that is x. And then 1 plus 2, that is 3. So this will be the value of x. And to determine the original fraction, let us have x over x plus 2. Let us substitute the value of x, that is 3 over 3 plus 2. It will give us 3 over so this will be the original fraction. On example number 2, an express train travels 150 kilometers in the same time that a freight train travels 100 kilometers. If the express train goes 20 kilometers per hour faster than the freight train, find the rate of each train. To determine the rate of each train, let us use the formula for distance, rate, and Time. So let us have the freight train and then let us have express train. Let us have distance, rate, and time. Since the express train goes 20 kilometers per hour faster than the freight train, let us represent x as the rate of freight train. And let us have x plus 20 as the rate of express train. And the distance of freight train that is 100 kilometers. And the distance of express train that is 150 kilometers. And to determine the time, we have distance over rate. So we have 100 over x for freight train. And for express train, we have 150 over x plus 20. So let us equate this one. Let us have 100 over x equals 150 over x plus 20. Since 100 and 150 are divisible by 50, let us simplify this one. So 100 becomes 2 and 150 becomes 3. Let us have 2 over x equals 3 over x plus 20. Let us cross multiply. Let us have 2 times x plus 20 equals 3 times x, that is 3x. 2 multiplied by x, that is 2x. 2 times 20, that is 40, equals 3x. Let us move 2x on the side of 3x. It will give us 40 equals 3x minus 2x. 3x minus 2x, that is x equals 40. Since we represent x as the rate of freight train, therefore, the rate 
of freight train that is 40 kilometers per hour. And to determine the rate of express train, let us have x plus 20, that is 40 plus 20, it will give us 60 kilometers per hour. And this will be our answer. On our last example, a large pipe can empty a pool in 6 hours and a small pipe can empty the same pool in 9 hours. How long will it take for both pipes to empty the pool? So this problem is an example of work problem. Let me give you two solutions in order for us to find the number of hours for both pipes to empty the pool. Since this one is a work problem, we can use the formula product over sum. Since we have 6 hours and 9 hours, let us have 6 times 9 over the sum that is 6 plus 9. So 6 times 9 that is 54 and 6 plus 9 that is 15. Since 54 and 15 are divisible by 3, 54 becomes 18 and 15 becomes 5. So we are going to have 18 over 5. If you are going to divide, it will give us 3 and 3 over 5. So this will be the number of hours it will take for both pipes to empty the pool. And the next solution that I'm going to show you, let us represent x as the number of hours for both pipes to empty the pool. So let us have x over 6, that is part of the pool emptied by the large pipe, plus x over 9, that is part of the pool emptied by the small pipe, equals 1. That is the entire pool emptied by the both pipes. So let us multiply the whole equation by the LCM of 6 and 9, and that is 18. 18 multiplied by x, that is 18x, divided by 6, that is 3x. 18 times x, that is 18x, divided by 9, that is 2x. 1 times 18 is 18. 3x plus 2x, that is 5x, equals 18. Let us divide both sides by 5. So x equals 18 over 5, that is 3, and 3 over 5 hours. So we come up with the same answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.